no, we don't like your dawn chorus. We're going to create our own. And um, one more thing, like going back to, I, I just love these stories of, of, of the boats and the bottles and all those things and boxes. And then the Europeans, I'm, I'm sure there was like this peak. There was this moment of like, off we go to New Zealand. And then <laughs> boxes coming with all sorts of stuff. A bunch of animals coming uh, to New Zealand, yes, right? Yes, yes, they did. Yes. Plants as well, like herbs and all, yeah, all sorts totally. of stuff. Yeah, totally. Yep. So not only did Joseph Banks take thousands what? of Sorry. plants. Who is Joseph Banks oh, and how sorry. important is he? No, no. <laughs> so Sir Joseph Banks, as he became, mm. was the botanist on board the HMB Endeavour. So, but he was actually the bankroll man. So that actually that voyage wouldn't have happened without Sir Joseph Banks. He was multi-million dollar. Like he was a millionaire of his time. Um, and the ship was actually changed for him to have space on board. Um, so yeah, it's um so he he was a botanist. He came in and he took um, plants, he took animals, but not live animals, um, and samples and what have you back to England. So, but on his whole voyage, so we're talking, they went to Tahiti, they went to South America, they went, came here to New Zealand, they went to Australia, you know, they went to South Africa, they went all around the globe for three years. And he, he left home, left England with empty pots in an empty room, um, and then ended up back home with a full room with pots full of um, plant specimens. Yeah. So, so mm. the other way around, uh, yep. th things <laughs> coming yep. to, to New Zealand? So when the settlers came to make them feel at home, <laughs> they um, brought certain things with them. And some of those things were plants, which we now probably have as weed species. Mm. Um, and also some animals and birds. Yeah. Which one? Tell to give give us give us some names, some animals. <laughs> There's probably going to be quite a few. So, what are some of your most annoyed by? The possum. Yeah. <laughs> um, and some of the birds. So, like your miners, your starlings, um, sparrows, house sparrows, pheasants, um, quails, geese, ducks. I mean, you name anything that's not native was brought here. If it couldn't fly here itself, and most of those birds wouldn't fly here I wouldn't imagine um paradise um, geese maybe Canadian geese um but yeah so they were brought over on the ships and they were brought over um in boxes not as food not as food they were fed they were um they had grass and grains and bugs and all sorts on board to feed them and um they had a list of how many birds they had at the beginning of the voyage and how many they had at the end um, and then when they got here, they were taken in. That was the Naturalist Society. So um, the, they were coming in to make it more homely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everyone wants another possum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not enough annoying birds flying around me right now. Yeah, no, so, um, and, it, and it just made, so when they woke up in the morning, they could hear the thrush singing. Well, they didn't like the noise. <laughs> what, what are these fat birds walking around for? We want flying or flying birds. Yeah, no. So, um, because the other thing too is when Captain Cook, when they were um, anchored off of New Zealand, the dawn chorus of New Zealand at the time was so deafening. They wanted to turn it down, but they were anchored off hundreds of, you know, yards off the shore. I um, mean, it was so deafening, our dawn chorus. You don't get that here now. No. I think Tiri Tiri Matangi is about the only place really locally. Some of our islands out here, um, which are pest free, um, they do have a beautiful dawn chorus, um, but not our mainland. And um, so, yeah, <laughs> then they brought, so, you know, Europeans brought in that stuff that stopped our dawn chorus. Yeah. What what were the main things, I know like Kauri and all this stuff, but like what was taken from Aotearoa? Like what what were the, the, the most valuable <laughs> items or resources that um, were taken from, from Aotearoa? Definitely the wood, timber. Um, we had um, Cody gum, so the gum was taken, um, exported. Um, what else was taken? Yeah, gold, I suppose. They would do that, did that in certain places. Um, but for us here, especially here, um, the Cody was the big... Cody. And yeah, um, certain trees, so like the Tōtara and the Rimu were also, could also be taken, but um, Iwi marked the trees that they wanted. 
um, so they weren't touched. Um, and there was also Cody that was in the forest that were called the Kings, um, and they were marked and they weren't to be touched either. So um, they didn't uh, touch some of our giants. Um, but so, so that was that was on the treaty. That was that was like was that a local agreement? It was a local agreement with sawmills. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, excuse again. Excuse my ignorance about <laughs> New Zealand history, but like how long from the moment that Cooks arrived to to the, the the signing of the the treaty? 1840 was the signing of the treaty. So February 6th, 1840. <laughs> Um, was the main treaty signing in um, Bay of Islands. So 1769, so we're talking 71 years. Yeah. And you've got to remember that 100 years prior to Cook, we had um, um, the Dutchman, what's his name? Abel Tasman. Oh, Tasman. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. 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 So, you know, every 100 years we kind of had this group. Yeah. It's fascinating. Like, all of this is so interesting. Mm. Like the amount of things that were killed, the amount of things that were brought and just taken. Mm. It, it just seems odd to go, yeah, we like this place. So we're going to take all of this yep. away from you. Yeah. And we don't like your your morning, uh, your dawn chorus, which is quite no. a cool description. No, we don't like your dawn chorus. We're going to create our own. But in that sense, they've just really mixed ours up. They've done a really suppose, bad DJ. Of them. Mm, <laughs> but then I suppose, I imagine there's a history of the UK. Well, they've probably destroyed, you know, all those big cities. Mm. Do they have a chorus that's not honking horns and no. buses and people groaning because they still live there? Yeah. In no, the cloudy skies? Exactly. Yeah. Same thing. So they wanted everyone to be as miserable as each other. Yeah, probably. But I, it was more about that they just wanted New Zealand to feel like the home they'd come from. Is there a documented period of time of, because for me it'd be, it'd be an entertaining exhibition to go through all of the stuff ups, um, <laughs> completely like as told like, and they brought the possums. All right, now here's what happened. And yeah. then stoats or rabbits or like uh, they wanted gorse and uh, just all these ridiculous yeah. narratives they're bringing yeah. things in and how that went wrong yeah it's like the willows willow uh, trees bring, yeah. being brought in because you know they looked lovely and that was mm. you know um and the poplar trees you know they're good fencing good hedging um the privet trees you mm. know great great hedging not good for my allergies not good for anybody's allergies <laughs> so you know they there is a lot that have been brought here that they could take home now, please. Because they, cause they'd be a great sort of narrative. Because they brought rabbits. Yes. Am I right for hunting? Well, for shooting, for a sport? Because were the um, animals brought over just for shooting? Yeah, deer. And then, but then deer there were other animals goats. they wanted to get rid of, right? So they brought stuff and like, no, nah, that's a bad idea. It's ruining stuff. So yep. they brought in more animals to get rid of them. And then they go, oh, shit, that didn't work either. Mm. So they someone go, you know what? Let's just continue. Let's find another animal <laughs> yeah. and find another. And just like, oh. Well, it's like the big, um, the tar and the um, chamois and the deer and those big, big. What are the tar? Sorry, I don't know. Tar. tar. So tar are like um, a deer, almost look like a deer with a really short point to um, horns on them. And they're down in the South Island and they were brought here for the um, hunting. Um, and so now they're in our in our high country and you know we now have to deal with them because they're a pest like the deer are um same with the chamois you know that's another one that is that the looks, idea they strip all the trees around them all yeah, the lower levels just yeah and they just root the ground up and just make an absolute mess so you know um th those animals are all brought in for um pleasure for hunting so you know and they've just ruined our landscape are there any animals that have been brought into any other place that have not been a pest to people? Because like our water mm. systems right now, all of our agriculture, which is a billion dollar booming thing that you put New Zealand on the map, is, you know, there's downstream, there's literally downstream effects of that yeah. um, that are quite disgusting. Mm. But I'm just trying to think of any solution where, you know what we need? We need some of what they have put here. And whether it's ever gone, well, that was genius. Apart from cell phone mm. towers. Because <laughs> we all need more cell phones and they're right, kids. Well, <laughs> better public transport system. They have a pretty good one, don't they? In the underground. Yeah. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's, it's actually really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I think um, they did. They definitely, you know, out, and we wouldn't have the agriculture <clears throat> um, that we have today without 
the sheep and the cows and you know. Also wonder the idea of at what point in history or at what point in time do we simply go, stuff it, it's their country now too. They've been here for, you know, 60, 80 generations of animalhood. Yeah. It's their country too. So now we have to look after and protect them as well. Because at what point does a, a society, a species or a, how many generations does anything have to be somewhere that it thrives? Yeah. Because we say it's a pest, right? Mm -hmm. But that's our classification of something that's thriving better than what we have. Really, you go, you could say from a complete different narrative, damn, those possums are brilliant. Look at look what they've done. They they have thrived. Yeah. They've Ooh. destroyed. Like they have destroyed. They're those like animals. humans. <laughs> they're as good as us. Yeah, they're like, as yeah. good as humans. So, exactly. Like they're they're amazing like us. Or going, yeah. you know what? Those trees have absolutely like privet. Well oh, done. You yeah. are pissing off so many people. That's a success story from a different angle. Yeah. Well, I think trout. Look at trout. Trout weren't here. They were introduced for the fishing. How as well. do you get trout alive over uh, here? Pass. Yeah, how do you get fish? <laughs> That's a quiz question. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and tanks, and they just fed them just, pallets. Just all big the way tanks over. going at five knots, sloshing yeah. around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because and so because trout, um, we now have you can only. Um, fish so many in a certain time of year, you know. So um, that's a, it's a way of keeping the population down, but b, it's also protecting the population to a point, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there, are, I would imagine there are some species that we do have in Aotearoa now that we've kind of taken on our own, on our own, and um, we are protecting them. Um, so, but we, yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting concept. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's good. I like, That's I like this comedy. That's good. You just watched to a North Bay show clip. If you want to watch the full show or if you want to see us live, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications about our live streams. We do it three times per week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. And if you are more of a listener, go to altbase.nz to find out on which main podcast platforms we're on. Peace.